this is my story of how I learned to land an ollie, but also this is the story of how I busted my ankle. But first, let's rewind a little bit. I've always been fascinated with boards, whether it's snowboards, skateboards or longboards. And as you can see, I was already very talented back then. Just like today. If you look at the videos of professional skateboarders, you might think it's not that hard. They make it look like it is a natural movement and while watching the videos, you feel like you could do it already. But then you get on a skateboard for the first time and that happens. I can tell you skateboarding is not easy. To make it look easy you need countless tries and a lot of practice. The goal of my challenge was to jump over a skateboard while riding. I took my old skateboard and a new one that I had just ordered and drove to a place called Theresienwiese. By the way, this is the area where the Oktoberfest in Munich usually takes place. starting to rain and yeah the weather is not looking good and everything gets wet so tea next day good morning people today i'm going to skate like i never skated before today i'm going to try to do an ollie a proper ollie over one of these skateboards which seems impossible. But I watched a lot of tutorials and I think uh, this gives me the force to do this. It went really well that day and I was able to do the ollie relatively fast in a standing position. I watched Skateboarding Made Simple Volume 1 by Braille Skateboarding again and again and I was able to adopt the technique quickly. By the way, if you don't know Braille Skateboarding, you should check them out if you want to learn how to skateboard. I think that's the right channel for you. Um, link is in the description. I was finally ready to try it while riding. Okay, I found this piece of wood here. I'm going to try to jump over the wood first because it's a little bit lower than the skateboard. but not beautiful and I fell off. Yes! I'm still on board. Okay, let's do it again.
Okay, it can totally jump over this wooden thingy. Let's let's try the skateboard. I think. Wow, I am so excited. I never jumped over a skateboard. I was ready to take it to the next level. Right now, I'm going to do it. <laughs> Hopefully. First I was really afraid to leave my feet on the skateboard, but I felt like I could do it. I put all my courage together and... Yes! <laughs> yeah! I was totally excited and frankly a little overconfident. I thought the other tricks might be not that hard and I decided to try the kickflip right away. And that was a big mistake. My muscles were not yet used to this new movement. I tried it again and again until this moment. Yes, this should be the end of my skateboarding career for now. I tore the ligament of my right ankle and the scariest thing was I could hear it. It sounded like a rubber band snapped off in my ankle. I had to do an MRI and the doctor confirmed my suspicion. And now I have to wear this beautiful cast for the next six weeks. It is very annoying, but I learned my lesson. Don't overdo it, but give your body time to get used to new situations. Will this stop me from having more skateboarding adventures? Surely not. I have planned a lot and I've already have a big surprise for you coming up in the next skateboarding video. It is in this box. So stay tuned, it will be certainly not boring. If you enjoyed watching this video, please consider subscribing to this channel, share this video, leave a thumbs up or write in the comments what I should try or learn next. Until then, stay healthy, stay happy and stay curious. I'm so excited about this box.